Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot cards one card at a time. Today's card is card number seven in the Major Arcana, the Chariot. I am using the Rider Waite Tarot deck and you'll find the link below the video. I've also linked to the many books I've used for my research. In this video, we'll discuss what this card means when it appears in a reading, the symbolism of the chariot, the meaning of the chariot when it is upright and reversed, including some examples from my life, and at the end, I'll give you some questions to help you better connect with the chariot. So let's get started. On this card, we see a young man standing in a chariot. He is wearing a crown. In his right hand is a wand. Over his armor, he is wearing clothing covered with moons and astrological symbols. The chariot has a canopy of stars that offer protection from the hot sun. The front of the chariot has a winged sun over top of a shield that looks like it contains a child's top toy. In front of the chariot are a black and white sphinx that are lying down. The chariot is not moving. We see a sunny sky. In the background, there is a moat with a gray wall and castles behind it. This card is about having a strong will, making decisions, taking actions, being courageous, and staying focused. Note that the chariot is not moving and there are no reins to control the sphinxes. The chariot moves solely due to the thoughts of the driver. It is a card about honoring your instincts, taking control of your will, and unifying many parts of your life in order to reach a goal. So let's talk about the symbols. The background of this card shows a bright yellow sunny sky. This indicates consciousness and the ability to see clearly. We see a young man standing in a chariot. The driver represents the individual soul while the chariot represents this lifetime. In his right hand is a wand. Like the wand of the magician, this symbolizes power from spirit that is being brought to the earth. What we do not see in his hands are reins to manage the sphinxes. They are also not wearing harnesses. His control over the sphinxes comes from his mind and not from force. He is wearing a crown with an eight-pointed star. It shows his connection to the celestial world and that his destiny is written in the stars. We see more stars on the canopy of the chariot. The open crown and stars above him show that his actions are known to spirit. Despite his belief that he is directing his life, spirit is actually in charge. His crown is over a laurel wreath. In ancient Greece and Rome, laurel wreaths were worn on the heads of emperors as a sign of victory and triumph. They show that you are on the right path. The driver is wearing armor. This represents protection and readiness for the next battle in life. It can also represent someone who is tough on the outside but more tender inside. On the shoulder of his clothing, we see two crescent moons that represent the divination stones Ermin and Thuman mentioned in the Old Testament. These stones were cast to figure out God's will and would be used for making a big decision, such as whether or not to go into battle. These moons stand for perfect balance, instinct, and power, as well as the polarity of the soul. On his chest, we see a white amulet that represents the four directions he can go. He is wearing a yellow belt that appears to show the signs of the zodiac. Note that the belt is slanted, which represents the path the earth takes around the sun. His skirt is divided into eight parts and shows the alchemical symbols that represent protection and spiritual transformation. The front of the chariot has a winged sun. This symbolizes inspiration and taking the power of the sun with us on life's journey. It is also believed to represent the Greek sun god Helios, who rode across the skies in a sun chariot. Below the winged sun is a red symbol known as lingam and yoni. This is a traditional Indian representation of male and female genitals and their energies working in harmony. Red represents action. The chariot is not moving. However, it is obvious that the driver is very focused on where he is going. As I mentioned earlier, the Sphinx are not being controlled by reins, but by the driver's will. In front of the chariot are a black and white Sphinx that are lying down. The white Sphinx has a male head and a female body. The black Sphinx has a female head and a male body. 
Note that they are also facing opposite directions. This indicates duality and opposing forces that cannot be brought together by force. The sphinxes also represent the problems and contradictions of life that the chariot still has to resolve. Behind the chariot we see a moat. Farther back we see a grey wall with a castle. This represents what the charioteer is leaving behind. The chariot driver is looking straight ahead and is unaware of what is going on behind him or what is troubling him from his past. The moat indicates that he had a challenge behind him, but he has overcome it. In the background, we see grass and trees that represent nature. When the chariot card appears upright in a reading, it represents triumph. You have won the battle. It represents that your goals are in alignment with your higher self, that you have courage amidst adversity. It can also represent that it's time to move away from your past and that you have created a plan and are sticking to it. Your goals and actions are in alignment with your higher self. And literally, the chariot can represent transportation or getting a new car. When the chariot appears reversed in a reading, it can represent failure. It can represent that you are letting challenges get in your way, that you are taking reckless actions, that you do not have enough control over your impulses, or conversely, you may need to give up control. You are stagnating and not moving forward. And it can literally mean a problem with your vehicle. It's interesting. I've had my car for 12 years without a recall notice, and that streak ended as I made this video because I got one this morning. I'm not sure how well this example will age, but it is from the U.S. government, and it comes to mind an example of the chariot reversed. In October 2023, the United States had an issue electing a speaker for the Republican Party. Kevin McCarthy got ousted and the Republicans could not get enough votes to elect a new speaker. They went through Steve Scalise, Jim Jordan, and they had nine candidates nominate themselves. And eventually they elected Mike Johnson. This is an example of the chariot being reversed and the Republicans not being able to get control of the vehicle of government. On the other hand, the Democrats, under the leadership of Hakeem Jeffries, all voted in unison during each one of the many, many votes. They knew where they were going and they stuck to their plan. This would be an example of the upright chariot. So here are some questions to help you get to know the chariot. Number one, are your actions in alignment with your higher self? Number two, what is driving you? Number three, where in your life do you need to tighten the reins and assert more control? Number four, where in your life do you need to relax and give up control? Is there something that you are micromanaging? Number five, are you prepared for the next battle in your life? Number six, where in your life are you being reckless? And number seven, how can you handle a situation where the views are polarized? I'd love to have you post your answers in the comments below. And please join me for the next video about card number eight, which is strength.